This is my rifle. There are many like them, but this one, <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're doing another sling review. Blue Force gear, Vickers, let's go. Alright guys, here it is, the Blue Force Gear Vickers Sling. Uh, Blue Force Gear makes it, Vickers, Larry Vickers put his name on it, and uh, yeah, it's a historical sling at this point. One of the first ones that I'm aware of um, that was a quick adjustment. I did a review on the Viking Tactics Sling a while back, go ahead and watch that if you haven't already. And um, it's one of the things we talked about was how, you know, these two companies, again, to, to my recollection, were some of the first to make quick, quick adjustment slings. I think that the Blue Force gear is definitely um, an improvement on what Viking Tactics was able to do and that it's much more simplistic. You just, right here, guys, for quick adjustment sling, let me show you how this works. If you don't already know, you grab this little pull tab, pull it, loosen, push it, tighten, okay? Simple as that. Um, well, it's actually not that simple, and I'll, I'll explain more why in a minute. Um, and I like it. It's a, it seems to be a robust sling. It definitely has a good track record, and uh, I can't say a whole lot bad about it. Video over. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. No. Um, so, what do I like about it? What do I not? I'll try and keep it quick. So, what I like about it is that it is very simple. Like I said, um, I, I don't like the, the two pull tabs of the Viking Tactics, for example. Um, it is just a very simple thing right here. Um, if you look at, say, the one that I talk about a lot, because it is one of my favorite, the T-Rex arm sling, it's got this loop here, and there's good and bad to that. This one, not so much. This one just has something real simple. Now, what I like about it is uh, the simplicity and the fact that it is kind of a robust piece of material here. It's been folded over. It looks like here at the end it's like, four deep and uh, then sewn up real good. So as you can see, it just sits out there pretty straight and grab onto that. It's not, uh, it's not real flimsy is what I'm getting at. What I don't like about it, I guess, is that it's the exact same material as uh, the rest of the sling. So what happens there is that if you go to grab a piece of material, if it's dark or whatever, I guess, maybe you might just grab the sling and think you're pulling on it. So you have to find a piece of material that feels just like the rest of the sling, and that could be a little bit difficult. I don't know, maybe I'm overthinking it sitting here in my garage, right? If I'm out there in combat at night, and I've got my nods on, oh my god, you know what I mean? I get it, guys, I get it. I'm just saying, that might be a criticism of it because it is that same material, okay? The other thing about the adjustment. Now, actually, let's go back to material overall, okay? So it is probably one of the thicker, when I say thicker, I don't mean in width, I mean in, in the material like this, thicker here, of all the slings I have, okay? Not including like the padded section of some of the padded slings. And by the way, neither of the Blue Force Gear Vickers slings that I have are padded versions. Just keep that in mind. And Blue Force Gear does make some new slings that have different um, adjustment pull tabs. This is just the, the basic you-know-what one. So. Um, the material they use is a little bit thicker. As a matter of fact, when I showed these to a few people at the range, some people who didn't have prior experience with any of these slings, I was like, what do you like best? Most people gravitated towards this one basically just because they're just asked there to look at, you know, six slings or whatever sitting in front of them. They're like, well, this one seems like it's the toughest. This one seems like it's to be the most durable. Now, obviously, that's not really based on anything. I'm not telling you to take the, the word of people who'd never even used these slings at heart. But it is interesting that if you just pick these up, it's true. This one does feel the most robust. Now, whether that's the case, I don't know. I'm not going to be doing a stress test, and it would probably take me 20 years to do these reviews. I'm going to wait for these things to break because I don't use my gear that hard. I go to the range, and I hang out in my garage. That's about it. So, with that said, I don't think durability is going to be an issue with any of them, but it, I, I had to guess, yes, I would say this is probably the most durable. The thing is, the texture on uh, the webbing they use, all these slings use different webbing, okay? Just to clarify that, I, I don't have a single sling out here that uses different webbing. As a matter of fact, sometimes the companies will have different webbing from one version of their sling to another, whether it be a different generation or whether it be a different pattern, which I'll talk about in just a minute also. With that said, most of these are going to be very rough. It's just a rougher material. 
Now, it's not really a problem. I mean, if you have a real sensitive neck, it might uh, chafe a little bit. But other than that, it's not really a bit of that much of a problem, except when you go to adjust it. You really have to tug on this thing to adjust it. I mean, it's not like you can't do it. Now, some might say, oh, that makes it so it can't accidentally happen. None of these slings are going to accidentally adjust without you actually moving this thing, all right? So, uh, I don't really think that's a good argument for it. So, I would say that's a bit of a downside that you really have to tug on it. You can definitely get used to it. I find the black one is harder than this one because, as I was about to say before, I find that in pretty much all these slings, if, you have a, if I have a black version or a, a solid color version versus a pattern version, the material is almost always a little bit different. I don't know if it's in the, the printing or dyeing process or if it's just that they have to use a, diff, a slightly different type of material. Sometimes even the, the width is slightly different on the sling. So does that really matter? Maybe a little bit. If you have a sling you really like and you're like, I want to get that one in multicam or whatever, you might want to consider that the material might be a little bit different. Not a complaint, just, a point, just pointing that out. Um, Setting this thing up was about as easy as any other sling, okay? I'm not even going to get into it because it's really not worth talking about. Um, let me show you the black one here. I already took it off the gun. One of the cool things that they do is uh, usually when you get these, your pull tab will be a different color, okay? Again, however, I don't really know how useful that would be because if you're having to look at your sling, to find where your where your adjustment is, well, you're probably not don't have that much experience with the sling to begin with. But I don't know. Maybe it's helpful. Maybe it isn't. I think they did that to uh, so when people are looking at it, they're like, oh, well, that's good. It's made of the exact same material, but at least they'll be able to find it because it's a dark gray instead of a black. I don't know. As you can see with this one, what they did was they went uh, with like a, a a coyote brown to uh, you know separate itself from the multicam. But again, you probably didn't even notice when I was holding it. I, I think it's neat. I, I don't think it really does a whole lot for you, though. Uh, I know a few months ago, I don't know if they still have it, that they actually had where you go on their website and um, you could custom make one of these, uh, get different colors if you wanted to, uh, get different hardware put on here. I don't know. That that's, I thought that was kind of cool that they had that. And at the time, you could do it. It actually had a... a a rendering on the website of what your specific sling would look like. So I really like it when companies go out of their go out of their way to uh, make the purchasing experience that much better for people online and allow you to customize things. That being said, it was quite expensive to get into a sling that you customize on their website, and I'm guessing the lead times are pretty big. But lead times for everything's big right now. What do I like? What do I not like? At the end of the day, I like most of the things, but I don't think there's anything about this sling that makes me want to sell all my other slings. If you're looking to get a sling and you want something really simple and you want something that's going to feel really robust, this might be a good sling for you. We're going to be doing a giveaway here. I think I said I was going to do... Yeah, I'm going to give something away, so stay tuned to the end. Oh, this is the end. Now's the time. Thanks, guys. Uh, oh getting this away. It's nothing that fancy. All right, guys, I'm sorry. I know I should just give the sling away, right? Maybe I will give the sling away. Maybe I'll do that later. It's a Pelican case, guys. This is the, what model is it? It's the 1170? Yeah, an 1170 Pelican case. Um, obviously brand new in box. Uh, nothing all that fancy, guys. You could probably find these for like $40 online, but I'm going to go ahead and give one of these away to anybody who wants it. These are great for little pistol cases, uh, very durable, waterproof, all that kind of good stuff, guys. Pelican 1170. All you need to do is go ahead and leave a comment, and uh, once we get to 100 comments, you can only leave one comment, 100 likes on the video and 100 comments on the video, and you have to subscribe. Let me start over. If you want that Pelican case, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave one comment. If you leave two comments, you're not getting it. Once we get to 100 likes and 100 comments, original comments, then uh, we'll go ahead and just pick our favorite. Simple as that. That's all I have for you guys. I hope this was educational and not too boring. Stay armed, stay safe. Whose dog was that? <laughs>